ladies and gentlemen, have you ever heard of somebody telling you a lie in Call of Duty Zombies? I've never heard of that before, but ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the most interesting so COD Zombie Hoaxes Call voice. Duty Zombies Reddit page. That's a, bear, that's a terrible Call idea. Duty that's a terrible idea. Y'all know. They're going to tell you straight of misinformation. Of, of course, it's the misinformation central. Oh, misinformation. We talked about this in a COD Zombies iceberg. And y'all know half of it is just people pretending to be Treyarch developers at the same time. The Reddit is a scary place. Ladies and gentlemen, watch out. This is... Oh, <laughs> it just keeps they, going. <laughs> Fetch ones. It just yeah, keeps I going. Never would have thought of in I, I mean, I'm pretty sure half of that is a just brain known. rot. Go them. It's brain so, rot, my um, friend. Um, oh my! Like we're going through all of them. Groups, and then after we finish those, we're gonna go on to the actual maps. Oh my this goodness! Okay. Okay, my man. Shout out to my man Noble Swag. No Hit him up on Instagram. He's a legend, bro. Sadly, no non -trick. Sadly, no Vanguard. Ain't, Ain't nobody sad about, <laughs> Ain't nobody sad about that. Ain't nobody sad about that. I'm gonna be talking about is probably Ain't nobody sad about that. Call of Duty Zombies hoax. And Let's hear it. The get the ray gun every time. <laughs> or get the. This is blasphemous. Why is my face here, man? Listen, bro. I may have made a guide three years ago about how to get the ray gun every time, but the thing is, man, is I proved it in that video. You just gotta watch it. Every time. <laughs> This is you never played zombies in ain't that you know, the truth? Ain't that you haven't it's, played zombies, period? Not even just in the 2010s, man. It were a bunch of random guides and videos on <laughs> just all my videos, like the other wonder weapon from the box each time by doing all these random. This is blasphemous, man. I'm getting bullied off here. the box, melee the box, spin around prone. Yeah, shoot the fucking ceiling light. <laughs> And then boom, spin the box. Talk to your mom, go to your dad, take now, a shower. A lot of these it's all in there. It's all in there. Not real. Actually, no way. All of them are not real. Do not fall for one, even though I think every single zombie's player has. Treyarch, when are you going to add the actual way to get the ray gun every time? Please, Treyarch, for Black Ops Golf War, your COD 2024 next game. Add a way to get the ray gun every time through just some nonsense. Like double crouch, spin, talk to your mother, go around, hit the gobble gun machine. I don't know what you do. Falling for one. But you gotta be able to like do it, man. The ad in this called category. The golden ray gun <laughs> The Jimothy video. Yes. yes. Is not hey man. Gun. Nah, it's definitely in there. It's in Black Ops 3 last year. I saw it. On Black Ops 4. And, and Black Ops 3 last year. Last gen. Yes. What a. Some other things. We <laughs> now the I don't remember. I don't remember. Suspects I don't remember that. That are very popular in this trend are two creators that go by US Cobra and Jimbo Fee. Yes. Shout out to the legends. Very, legends. Very interesting people. <laughs> yeah, that's so a great way of describing it. Just watch the first 15 seconds of any. Oh, Cobra. how fast is this video going to get them? <laughs> My video is already instantly demonetized. This is, hello, YouTube reviewers. Close your eyes for about 30 more seconds. That's, that's all I can ask. <laughs> just look at Jim Bovey's channel play. Hey, my man's a Fortnite legend, bro. He's a Fortnite legend. No. Come on, brother. I'm not discrediting like them. Funny as shit. Nah, but they funny, though. If you fell for these, which you probably have. I mean, listen, we were all 12 at one Make point. Sure you do better in life. <laughs> I, I'm trying, man. I'm trying, bro. No, <laughs> it ain't easy. Is in fact very similar to the one after that. Okay. How similar? Does it get the thunder gun every time? A lot of people fell for them. Get the wonder off every time. Don't pick up drops on early rounds. Oh, it true. Increases its chances of getting them on. Dude, I believe that all the way up until Black Ops 3. And some developer who was making custom apps was like, the fact that you believe that, you're just a straight idiot. I was like, dang. <laughs> so, I mean, listen, I believed that for the longest time. I was making YouTube videos and I still believe that. You can probably find some old ones of me saying that, but that's cow. Yeah. And to not crawl when you're down because it increases your bleed out time. Oh my gosh, bro. So true. And yeah, we all just couldn't count to 30 seconds. <laughs> we all just couldn't count to 30 seconds because we were like, bro, if you move, you die out faster. The thing is, is with the older games, they kind of, 
made you feel like that because when you like get more farther down and like just before you're about to bleed out like the screen goes black man like you just can't see anything they took that out in bo3 and even in bo2 but in bo1 and world of war oh my gosh it was bad man so honestly i can understand how people thought that times and that yeah that's such a good point though same when you're crawling and standing still and that drops are randomized that's just so now, true. I don't know about the drop soon because I didn't really look at No, the drops is false. Left. So okay. the, the way that every game works, just to give you the rundown. Uh, so for example, I did BO2 Origins. You can only get four drops around on that game. Other than if you take out a boss zombie like a panzer or whatnot. So every round you only get four drops. And in that game, when you get two drops of the same, so let's say you get two insta kills, two nukes, whatever, it resets your cycle. So it's dependent on the game, but yeah, the fact that like people thought that if you just didn't pick them up, you'd get them later on in the rounds was complete nonsense. It was complete Any of know nonsense. Down below, nah, it's complete nonsense. Say, yeah. And um, put your own hoaxes down there that yeah. I don't mention. And it doesn't even matter if you pick them up or whatnot. As soon as they spawn in, that's what counts. So, for example, let's say you get two nukes. Then you need to get one insta-kill, one max ammo, one carpenter, and so on. Until all the other drops are done in BO2. And then your cycle would reset once you get two of the next drop. So, it's very confusing. But honestly, not as confusing as we thought it was. Now the next one, which is very... Uh, how they common is this next here. one? Let's see and yours. Richtofen is actually some Amphis father for this is talking about Ultimus Richtofen. Bro, when it comes to the storyline and people saying Dempsey is Misty's dad and all that, bro, that is I'ma be honest, bro. That comes from a place of a that comes from a bad place. Okay. <laughs> That's no storyline information. That's you wanting to make some sort of relationship. That's what it is, man. I don't I don't I know don't. what to say. We clearly know we never knew. Yeah, we never and knew. And this man even went on to say further that Rick Toffin, Ultimus Rick Toffin, started the zombie apocalypse. Listen, man, Rick Toffin has a quote in Rick, uh, in Alpha Omega talking about gargling ball sweat. So I don't want to hear about he's the dad of Samantha Maxis. Ain't no way somebody like that could be a dad, man. Now, Ain't no this way. Guy, this is weird. Just wait a little bit. You'll, you're here from him again. It's, I'm just telling you, it's just and absolutely absurd. The next thing we're going to talk about is, in fact... Chronicles too. Hey! Now, if you don't know what Zombie Chronicles is, it is in fact hashtag certified not a hoax. I mean, Cold War Zombies Chronicles two, yes, was a hoax when it really should not have been. This is the saddest hoax on the list because you know what? You know who really got hoaxed on Treyarch, bro? Come on now, this a is got bonus me. Bonus DLC that was pissed. Black Ops three in which it was the reimagining. It's got of me pissed, man. Older Zombies maps and Criminal. did very well. And the community has wanted a second. Chronicles, but yeah, Just depressing, yeah, depressing, and it's got saddest hoax so on the list. Fucking bad. That people in the community have been making their own zombie maps. <laughs> like there's a mob of the dead remaster being made, which we will be making as well. Yes, sir. Call of the Dead remaster. Yeah, Call of Dead remaster. Yep. Buried is good remaster. Buried die rise transit. transit. Yes, sir. I know Mr. T Lexify is making a die rise master. Mod check, for mod check. Who? <laughs> for, some, very, for some reason. Very out of hand. Hey man, we're bringing love back to Die Rise. Listen, I almost quit Call of Duty Zombies when Die Rise came out, but guess what? That's probably why I'm remastering it. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. 2024. That gives us. My hands are up, man. My hands are up. But that's just like figuring out what the impossible Easter egg is from Jason Blundell. True. Near to not happening. Speaking of which, that was a new I'm going to be honest. That impossible Easter egg from Blundell, I just don't even think that was a thing. I'm going to be honest. I know Glitching Queen's uploading a bunch of videos, talking with the interviewer and talking all about all that. My man told Mr. Raffle Waffles straight to his face that Rick Toffin had a peanut butter allergy. There ain't no way that that's canon information. I'm telling you, it's cap from the beginning. Another spot, it's cap. The impossible Easter egg. It's cap. Yeah, I'll talk more about that later. There ain't no way. Now, man. speaking of Mr. T Lex Fire. Our, he's actually involved Ooh. in our next segment, which is oh, Z House Free. No! House was oh, I'm gonna. T dude, this is just a sad video. This is the biggest hoax ever. Why is Noah here? <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> this is like an old photo from Noah. Noah is in Z House 3 confirmed. I talked to my dad about it. Zombie community. I talked to my dad, man. In which a bunch of zombie YouTubers live together. The saddest hoaxes of, of all time. Z House 1 and 2 during BO3. Yes, sir. Um, Ah, uh, that baby gun looks sick. And Shout out to Chris Lax. One of the members, including the likes of Smith Plays, Sports Hawk, uh, Chucky. Shout out, Matt just got married. It was a very, very what a legend. popular series, and they've been asked to make a third one, and here we are. <laughs> and then Call of Duty Vanguard happened. That ain't on me, fellas. That ain't on me. I'm just Noah J65. That ain't, Noah J65. Let's go. E guy. Dude, where did it go? He where did it go? On every other bow, where did the fireboat tutorial the go? Bow and the wolf bow. Where did it go? Didn't make one on the fireboat. True. Which where did it go? For a lot of reasons, because one, fireboat. <laughs> Literally, it's so funny that the community cares about this so much when you know nobody is building the fireboat in 2023. Absolutely nobody. Exactly. Oh man, check out the one mil special though. The you might find it. Gameplay you were watching right now. You may or may not it find it. A couple hours. The took us like an hour because I had to craft the damn bow with no guide. But yeah, that's the no Jason. It's not like there's like 50 other guides on YouTube.com to find the uh, fireball. No, he's, no he just never made a guide on the boat. <laughs> and I think we have a couple that's last ones man. for this segment. Okay, this is like the BL3 segment. The COD Zombies game, which was going to be a game. So oh, really these are just making me sad. The standalone the game. It. it was just it was probably going to be called Call of Duty Zombies. zombies map. It was going to be released some in like 2018. Activision, here's a way to make a billion dollars. Do that. Thanks. There's not too many details. How to make so one billion dollars. Fake leak or there you go. It was actually something that was supposed to happen, but got canceled. But yeah. That's what that is. Part of me wonders if the original Zombies Chronicles was going to be made into a standalone game. Oh my goodness. We need a Halo Master Chief collection with all of the games. Black Ops 3, I'm saying this now. Once Zombie Chronicles 2 comes out for that, being Transit, Die, Rise, and Buried, Black Ops 3, you'll be able to play every single Call of Duty Zombies map from pre-BL3 up to BL3. And then the only other zombie games that you need to worry about outside of non-Treyarch is BL4, and Cold War. Vanguard doesn't exist. <laughs> Throwing monkey bombs does outside not exist. the map increases max ammo drops. Why yes. the hell would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> the max ammo outside the map, hoax. Yeah. The Samantha. And this one is actually very interesting. Pack punch weapons, wonder weapons, in fact. Ray gun, winter style. They don't do extra boosted damage. So and this is very for the ray gun, that is actually true. Um, and then it depends on the version of the Winter's Howl. I believe with the BO4 one, they slightly buffed it, but it is still one of the worst wonder weapons of all time. Explained, it's terrible. It's explained very well by yeah. this man right here. I'm yeah. showing an image. My man's got the so Reddit. Because he describes it a lot better than I can. Basically, the Call of Duty wiki has been is spreading like false information saying that. A lot of the times they were, though. And it's because, listen, a another thing that the wiki gets wrong on a lot is perma perks. And that's because, bro, I did a whole series that I deleted on my channel called Perma Perk Hunting. And it was such a bizarre mystery back then, especially when a new map came out, like Buried, and then the PhD Perma Perk came out. Like, we had no clue what was going on, man. No gun. clue. They're doing decreased damage. In fact, the, the damage is. Just yeah, we the just had no clue, man. The last two. So I, I, I cut it past them, you know. Say before we get onto the actual maps themselves, are these three? No. Okay, Perma so we're going into stamina, maps next. Which was going, which Perma stamina. No. Really too known on BO2. Not no, it never was. That's see, that's what I'm talking about. Perma stamina would have been amazing for a map like Transit, but dude, yeah. I mean, Perma Stamina Up, technically, I guess you could say is on Cold War because Stamina Up in PhD on those on, the, on that game is just ridiculously broken. It is so good to have those two. And that really so good. Known with the Perma Perk system, so I don't. I'm not sure if Stamina Up was a Perma Perk itself. No, I wish it was, was though. And rumor going around, it was just people coping. It was copium, man. The 
fact that the Easter egg songs make the game go harder, which I've never oh. personally felt until this guy messages. I didn't hear that either. I don't believe that's the case. I don't believe that either, but be. in your head, it probably does. <laughs> I saved the best for last for this section. Is Let's hear factions. it. No! <laughs> he really did save the best for last. Bruh, this is literally the saddest thing. I mean, this is not technically a hoax. It was supposed to happen. The saddest reason I heard why factions never happened was because Treyarch was working on that garbage Black Ops authenticity stamp system. And because that took like months into the life cycle, factions never happened. I still think that this would have been one of the greatest ideas of all time. And I easily think that Jason Mundell got this idea from Pokemon Go with like the three teams with the, the legendary birds. Like, bro, that would have been so cool. Especially like people fighting against each other and playing in the community like that. I still think something like this should really come back in one of these future games. I don't know how. But, oh, oh my didn't pay gosh. To be a four. Oh, just so like, sad. You shouldn't have. <laughs> you shouldn't have. <laughs> was the overly you were playing Fortnite. Community game mode. Or, like, not really game mode, but it was going to be a system in which you could join a zombies faction. My idea is that it would have been, like, sport teams. Like, that you would have been a part of a sport team, and then everybody would have been there with you and they would have been like yo that's the sickest team let's go right like let's let's do that and i think the idea stemmed from i don't know if you guys remember this but in G in bo3 they would do challenges where we would have to get a certain amount of elims or a certain amount of headshots or whatever and we would unlock like some special new camo that the game would reward us in and that idea is so good. I wish they would have just gave up on the authenticity stamp system because it's still broken today. Oh my gosh. This would have been fire. That would have been fire. Yes. I think Blundell was on the right idea. Yeah, it would have been so cool. They said it would be released future DLC. And then that never happened. Yeah. And as the end of. Part of the reason why I think it never released, even though they said it was going to release, is because of the fact that the game was already dead. And I believe that Blundell was probably already on the way out the door at that point, which is pretty sad. But it is what it is, the Miscellaneous man. one. Kind of put in. Now we're going to start off with the maps. Yeah, now I'm excited to hear these maps. Let's go. <laughs> we're already 10 minutes in. I'm 17, brother. we got here is Nocturne on Totem. Okay, Nox got some wild ones. A good amount of them pertaining to high rounds the first one and probably is one of the most popular zombie hoaxes ever round 100 are knocked and a zombie hit <laughs> box would come out the fog and you i don't know what to tell you i'm pretty sure that still exists man you just got to get to round 100 or not man. I don't know what to tell you. pretty sure that's still around in 2023 this one very man. much believed and even people back then in world of war would say oh i fought hitler i saw him <laughs> <laughs> that's so, so man, true there's always that one friend that's like, bro, I actually saw it. I saw the thing that's just not in the game whatsoever. I, bro, I know I did, bro. <laughs> that's so All funny. Yeah, there's they they got caught, bro. If you get the round 100, um, some people said that the roof would be blown open and a plane would be up there and you get airlifted out and the map ends. Funny how they added that idea in Cold War with Xville, huh? Someone That's funny. If you get the round 40, you could literally just go outside. The doors will open and you can run outside. Someone said, ah. if you get the round 100, you can jump into the tank outside the map. I don't oh. know if you can just get it where you can control the fucking tank. Because I do know... Like the plane as well. Bro, those are some really interesting ideas but bro that you know that half of that's just from the cod zombie forums back in world at war straight <laughs> false shout out my boy Whatever. sedan though tank system, so. shout um, out my boy sedan this one said if you get the round 20 you unlocked Verruck without having to <laughs> Dude, if only and the last one bro bro if i only have to get to round 20 to unlock the next map bro sign me up bro <laughs> that's, i'm in there that it just says knocked sniper cabinet 
Oh, bro. In this sniper cabinet up there that you... You just gotta go to my friend, uh, FaZe Blaze's channel. He'll actually tell you this was the very first pack punch machine, boys. Uh, hey, I mean, I thought this was quite obvious at this point. I thought that was quite obvious. 5,000 points, the equal amount to pack punching a weapon. I thought that was quite obvious. Locus, no attachments. That's the first pack punch right Zombie there, baby. Chronicles edition unknocked. So, yeah, that is it for a knocked entry. Now we're going on to Verrucked. Verrucked sadly had few I can find. Verrucked is, in fact, my favorite. Which is interesting because Verrucked has a lot of mysteries. Like, why are there screams happening 24 7 when you just walk by a room? You know? So this hit me. What is going on um, in there? The ones you know? that Verrucked did have were. It's probably all guy, story related. And him and his friends said that the Perca Colas were bad luck and they decided not to buy them. <laughs> the game harder. Knocked purists be like, we will never buy perks. I will only play my favorite map, Noctra and Toten, bro. And this one is actually not really hoax, but it's scrap content. That there was going to be a mounted LMG in that John Banana room. True. That, that you could have used. Yeah, which is now map. under the well. Yeah, but they decided to scrap it from the game. I don't think they had um, traps really under that room, though, in design there. No yeah, yeah, it is there. Yeah. The next map we have is Shino Numa with the same amount of rocks. And you know they added it on the BL3 version just for that nostalgia. They should have just added it in the map, man. Like they fixed the well. Like the well actually shoots out like a spout of blood, I think it is. And then why didn't they just fix it with? The mounted LMG, man. It's very strange. Very strange. Same one for Rugs had that the Perca Colas were, in fact, bad luck. I guess people did not trust <laughs> People did not <laughs> like perks. My knocked enthusiasts. Round 100 on Shino Numa. Peter McCain drops down from hanging and is a zombie boss. Okay, so the drop down from hanging is actually a glitch. This was not a feature of the map. People uploaded these old clips back in the day of Peter McCain dropping down, which was true. Like, you are able to do that. But it actually does actually down you. But the problem is, is that it doesn't do anything outside of that. Now, right? That it's it's just a no, straight glitch. A similar and no boss. Yeah. Down, like the mobile version. The old oh, iOS version. Oh, yeah. And they kind of... Where you dig up his grave. That's true. They that kind of like added this as a little egg. Yeah, that's switch. true. Oof. Has a lot. Yeah, Doris is first probably first, filled with them. Round 115. The brick wall right next to the power opens up and zombie Hitler once again... <laughs> You battled him. Another one. Bro, we, they, they were dying for this man to appear at this point. And I love how he's never appeared. Like, he appears in one custom zombies map called Das House, But the fact that he doesn't even appear in an official map is hilarious. Is that when you spawn in <laughs> and look to the right, that little generator right there, if you toss a grenade, in fact, oh, he's in there. Grenades, Guys, he's in there. There's effects. That happens when the grenades the, blow up. I'm telling you, he's in there's there, man. There's also a button panel in that same direction right there that a lot of people were trying to figure out to use. They actually added that back in the giant on BO3, and you could use it, and it's part of like a mini Easter egg. Um, I'm pretty sure they also added that in Dereese Declassified, which I personally think is the better version of the giant on BO3. There's also monkey. A lot of monkey bomb. <laughs> a lot of monkey bomb. <laughs> you toss a monkey Dang. In the furnace, this is. I'm calling Peta, man. But people are saying. Yeah, that Peta, take a look at this, y'all. Somebody at Treyarch's getting arrested. Stop torturing monkeys. Somebody's going to jail here. Tossing them out the maps and setting them ablaze. What is wrong with you? Yeah, for real, bro. And then bro. there's also the infamous glitch with the Wonder Wolf and Jug getting disabled. Oh, true. Some people thought Jug would recharge. Um, that would have been interesting on that map. Some people were also, also adding that, like, if you shock it with the Wonder Waff, it will come back. Which, it doesn't happen. It's just unfortunate that a lot of these hoaxes actually stem from glitches with inside the map, which is very just interesting. Like Wonder shots, and Treyarch's like, yeah, that's canon. <laughs> They're like, that, that definitely is canon. 99 cult that was going on. Oh, I don't remember this. Was getting hyped up to be in the Reese. Oh, never was, and then creators had yeah, it was in the multiplayer. On getting the Type 99. There's a lot of fake weapons that you can get in World of War that are just in the files, so you know that people are uploading videos like that. It's also another thing Always. dealing with that brick wall saying if you get a thousand, uh, like not a thousand points, but like 
a million points you could buy that door or like a hundred thousand i don't know what, what <laughs> it's just some random point number bro oh, it, who knows at that point saying there was something called super perks that you could be that you could acquire if you interact with jars around the map and you unlock the super perks i don't know what he meant by those maybe it's similar maybe just like some sort of thing around the map because i guess that was kind of the inspiration for how Zelensky brought perma perks into bo2 which i still think is one of the greatest systems ever it is such a shame that it died also in bo2 the same game was introduced perma perks who knows that would have been just and so cool to see though other things one people were talking about like another side easter egg to do with the garage door near uh the bowie knife area and then maybe that opens up and then icarus and is also on top of that like building the mob of the dead plane g42 in there or like a oh, second easter egg involving blowing up the moon a lot of people said they were gonna blow up the moon on this map but that is i mean they were kind of right they were kind of right i just took it till bl3 it for Doris. now we go on to black ops one maps which are quite horrifying. There's a lot of <laughs> the BO1 ones, bro. Game too, that... Kino Token oh, this one's gonna have some good ones. Ladders. Oh, the ladders. The ladders. Yep. Shout out my if boy, the ladders. Know, fucking ladders. <laughs> in the back. There's just nothing. They are unaccessible, and people are saying through the. Sometimes I wonder because Kino was actually supposed to have a chainsaw. It's in the files of the map and maybe that's where the chainsaw would have been. Maybe it would have just been like a chainsaw up there with like for 20,000 points or something. I think Kino really needed something like that because to be quite honest, man, Kino is such a dry map when you go back and play it. It really is. Side well. Easter eggs of the reels you can somehow. True. They could have done like a little side egg with that. I don't know. It's a lot. Makes me wish they did more for Chronicles with that, you know? I've seen so many different explanations for what happens. When yeah. There. Some people say it's just nice training area. Some people say <laughs> it's ammo. Some people say... Dude, it's the catwalk from Darius, man. Some people say there's even, like, an ending where the Ultimus crew walks out. I've heard... Half of this is probably just from the same five people, now that I'm realizing it. They probably have just get the hoax. Hoax is all up in the COD Zombies community, and we're just down there, bad for it. Chainsaw scrapped Wonder Woman right. up there. Which there's is, so many crazy yeah, something, theories. that was and my idea. There's even, like, more crazy shit. Now I even, like, and this is the probably the last Hitler thing we're getting. <laughs> around 115 on this map. Zombie Hitler dropped. Hey! Yeah, there he is, man. Hopefully He's back. No Hopefully there's, there's no, no other one. 115. <laughs> Round 115 thing for Kino. It's, it's it. wild that until Zetsubo, the map he's playing on right now, that was the first time ever that they added a side Easter egg dependent on the round, which was the round 50 distant monster Easter egg, bro. In fact, that, it took them so closet. long. Now, a lot of people are actually saying this. I've never heard of it, but... I've never heard of that either on Kino. Oh, interesting. Treyarch was inspired by this hoax, or if this hoax came out. Nah, Blundell was into the yeah. HP Lovecraft lore, brother. Was interested in octopus. Flags it increases your melee. There was also like an electric box Easter egg. You melee that. That's interesting. Zombie spawn quicker. People even said hellhounds are targeting Richtofen on the map. <laughs> collect the meteors increases your bro that's just people getting upset playing public matches that they're getting bullied because they're the host and all the zombies are coming after them. Uh, so look, if you stay in the spawn <laughs> until round 10 all that's the so doors funny the map will open up. if you open the upstairs door during the transition of round two it guarantees a free it guarantees the mystery box will be there. It's just so much specific No, stuff. half half of this is on. just copium, bro. It's just people wanting this to actually be <laughs> you know, way better. Yeah. Now we are on to five, which sadly doesn't have much entries. But it does have a very surprising one, which is... <sighs> get the round 100, a zombie JFK. <laughs> I can't with these, bro. Dude, people were coping for years. They're like, it's gonna happen this map. It's gonna happen this map. One, which is <laughs> unbelievable that someone even came up with this. Because you That's so funny. Why would they They're like, it's happening. 
Bro, Richtofen on dead Richtofen. I mean, it's funny because a lot of these hoaxes are actually like carried in the storyline way later on, which I think is very fascinating. Secondly, in That's the round so 255 funny. and you get a cutscene, I don't know if this guy was confused with classified. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing might go for five. No, these are all OG 2010 actually, comments I've for sure. A lot of people talk about, and I know myself that there's a pig downstairs in the lab. No, oh, man. You have a choice. You could actually kill it or keep it alive. The question of morality, People man. say if you kill the pig, it actually makes the game harder. Now we are just on straight false. <laughs> One of my personal favorites. Just maps. straight false. And I've whew, not heard any of these. One is saying once you beat the actual ascension Easter egg, that there is extra steps to complete, because one of the developers in the map said that. That's just straight false and also copium. Like, it's just such copium because everybody's like, all we got is a 90 second death machine. That's it. That's correct. That's all you got. There's steps we don't know. Yeah, that's and all you get, my friend. Speculated that the chained up door under Chuck can be opened with everyone right. using their minigun. Which was cool because in the BL3 Ascension, they added a little shadow man peering out the window, which was nice. But like, Again, it makes you wish that, like, Chronicles just added a little bit extra for each map like that, that you know? That you unlock at the end of it? They just shoot open the door? Someone yeah, would have been cool, to though. the point where they said if you do the Kino real Easter egg and use the mini rocket on that map, quickly load into Ascension, your M1911 will be auto pack punched. <laughs> Brothers just playing Black Ops 3 using Gobble Cups at that point, bro. What the hell are y'all talking about? <laughs> Someone said if you get round 100, Joseph Stalin will spawn in as a zombie. <laughs> I thought we were done with these zombies. Why do we keep coming back to the zombie Easter eggs? Dude, I promise you, you just gotta get this there, man. This one actually is possible, though. If you crash the lunar landers, it's, it's very confusing how he worded it, but... There's a way you glitch out the map and run out the map. Other people are replying saying this is a real glitch that people use to get out of the map on Ascension. But I'm pretty sure that is a real glitch where you just... Uh, everybody used to do like lag switches back in the day. And that was like a big way. But there's so many other ways to get out of the map on Ascension. It's it's really... But yeah. You don't have to use it with the landers. And the last one, I'm not sure if the guy was confused, but it was talking about the Pentagon thief being on Ascension. I don't know if he meant the actual Pentagon thief is on Ascension. They are affiliated with the storylines of each other. Ascension and 5 both happen pretty much at the exact same time. So, I mean, I they were on the right path. I don't think they even knew that, but they were on the right path there. The character and its lore because... No, theory, it's just the lore. Pentagon yeah. thief actually did work on the ascension facility yeah exactly yeah now we're going to call of the dead which i've also not heard any of these first thing is saying you i'm excited kill for George these Romero ones. on round one with just your pistols and knives Pro i mean i i guess but like i don't want to sit there for five hours <laughs> actually is possible yeah you yourself yeah literally. there's a way you can unlock a boat to drive off siberia which is so funny because guess what? That was in Togger Toten. There's a, a lot of people don't know this, but there's a secret room in Togger Toten where you can literally see, I don't know what planet it is. I think it's Jupiter, but there's a huge planet and there's a little boat at the end of it. And so it is what it is, man. It's crazy how that is. Or you could get a secret third boat and find the Reagan wall by. Another person said there's zombie alligators, which doesn't sound like a bad idea that's nightmare gameplay <laughs> you can somehow transform george into a good guy that helps you and uh, vr 11 i guess yeah and yeah that's that's call it dead for you round 100 man what a round the last thing um we have for bo1 are two last ones one is the shangri-la is on mars which most of you have probably heard about I mean, brother, I've been stapled that in my brain at this point with the amount of times the community has been talking about that in the past. Mom. This is a very deep one. Yeah. Because Shangri-La has been known to be on the Himalayas. But since one game file stood out saying Mountain Mars or Mars Mountains of the background mountains. and a, a Which apparently actually is a Mars Mountain. Developer of the map came out saying those are Mars Mountains. Yeah. People are saying Shangri-La is in fact on Mars. Yeah. And you can even see 
It's also interesting because I just did the Shang Yi strike with Wendigoon, and Shang has two or Mars has two moons, and so there's one moon that causes the eclipse, and then so a lot of other people think that the other moon is like the little asteroid that you're using throughout the entire um, Easter egg. So it's it's pretty cool how like COD can tie in the lore of like a planet out of all things into that. Don't don't get me started on Voyager Despair, man. I think don't get me started on that map. Moons in the sky on yeah. And then That's still really interesting, though. On Hosen, where this is what I was saying. Yes. Oh, so this yeah. is Mars. Yeah, it's not yeah. Jupiter. Shane okay. It might be on Mars. It might not. Yeah. Who knows? I wonder if that's, like, a little tease for, like, what's gonna happen next in COD Zombies, which it wasn't, because Cold War doesn't have anything with that, but maybe something to do with, like, Jason Wendell's project on Deviation Games? Personally, I don't know. No input on that that would've been sick, though. The last one for BO1 is the Space Doggy, which has the space doggy. been a long-term <laughs> time hoax. Shout out to Matt! MC Sports, MC Sports Hawk. MC Sports Hawk. My lad! She said there was a space dog on moon i think at first he said it was a zombie dog but it just came a space dog which is interesting because just recently i did the bo1 eggs with wendigoon and we had the dogs be able to spawn in on the moon and they're only supposed to spawn in an area 51 so and maybe that that's where it started and from and with matt for the space dog on the BO3 which was so the cool top five side eggs I of all time more of these on yes each of the remaster maps that would have been sick that map's hoax like yeah. imagine you got the round 100 on zombies bo3 knocked and an actual zombie hitler boss spawned that would have been that so would cool be insane yeah one last thing i would like to add in before we get on to bo2 and it would not have been difficult it's a literal jpeg they could have done where they could have just stuffed it outside of the map just like in zetsubo oh man the missed opportunities are insane is that there was in fact like two maps that were scrapped the paris and london map that would have been insane to be in. Which was actually supposed to be true. Moon was supposed to be Paris. And it did end up being recreated on BO1 as a custom zombies map called Parish. Which is an amazing zombies map. And honestly, that map reminds me more of like Origins than it does Moon. And I still think choosing Moon was the better option for Treyarch to go. Black Ops. I think they were supposed to be between Moon, BO2. I know, I think the Paris yes. was supposed to be after. It was teased on Doris. Yes. I think the yeah. London one got teased on the rise track later on. London, I think that was supposed to be maybe a BO4 zombies map, potentially. I'm wondering if that was even a tease for the chaos story, but... It would have been cool maps. Who we knows? Who knows? BO2. Or maybe it's just a Revelations teaser. Now on to BO2 with Transit. Transit. Probably one of the most infamous ones. Probably the ones with the Bus most B. hoaxes. Yeah, Bus Route B. Yep. Yeah. Is an alternate bus route that was found by looking at the board at the bus spawn a lot of people don't know this but i'm going to quickly pull out the blackout map here and show you guys that bus route b does actually exist so this is bus route a where you go down here and bus route b even on transit goes to nuketown on this island over here so it does exist it just Bus Route B just simply ended up being Nuketown, pretty much. You see that there's two bus routes. Yeah. Bus A is the one we take during the game on... <laughs> and Bus Route B says... That's that my man, Bus Route A. You see it, actually, in when we're driving by. It's blocked yep. off. Yeah. Now, it says at night. That is very key indicator that we need to know about. Because yep. there's actually supposed to be a day and night cycle on transit. Transit, that, that is strict. true. Yep. People are saying that there's a side Easter egg to get the night mode to turn on. Bus Ruby open up. We find something over there. Oh, and there's so been many beautiful teasers and speculations. That would have been so a big good, man. Fucking fan base talking about Bus Ruby. Yeah, they even to this day. On it. Literally, I and have. This <laughs> one, instead, you get the jet gun, get on top of the bus room, get on top of the bus. As soon as it gets that obstacle point. Yes. Jump off the bus, use your jet gun. A lot of people don't actually know this, but you can fly with the jet gun just like you can with the paralyzer from Buried. And so I think that that might be an interesting mechanic to add. I don't know. Fly over it, run cool. for the fog, and you're at die, right? Cool. I don't know where he makes the shit, gets the shit from. <laughs> like, and this isn't even the NGT zombies, man. Yet, 
We're, we'll get to that when we at Barry. That's so funny. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is probably equally as popular as Bus Ruby, and that is the zombie horse. This was created True. by the, uh, Frank Woods' voice actor who was reacting to the, the transit, transit trailer. Trailer. Yeah, dude. Sergeant Frank Woods said that there was a horse on the map. This man, I think, got it confused with like the Black Ops Two campaign mission where he's riding the horses. This dude was out of his mind. We never found a horse in the files at all. Said, uh, <laughs> Just like that's all the money in the trailer. You see yeah, that? that's the zombie horse right there. Yeah, Don't we're like he was talking about whatsoever, but people. No, nah, that man. That farm. We love that man. Sound. Shout out to Sergeant, Sergeant Frank Woods. Right love this man. It's not fucking Minecraft. Don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> That's not, not Minecraft. A zombie or a headless horseman boss fight. What? I Bro, that would have been sick. I feel like Cold War could have had something like that. A headless horseman. Don't know Ooh, where that, that came would have from. Been fire. People were even saying that you can take the grenades, go to town, and throw them in the lava. You get max ammo. There's. They just wanted a make you lose all your ammo bro <laughs> speculation about town because after you do the easter egg there's random visual glitches with the pine all around the map and, like, yeah activating at the doors and, and that stuff. was all People treyarch's you fault can get to the church the bowling alley the yeah. laundry mat there's just so much going on in transit if people only. even said fucking marlton if he builds the shield that increases the durability of his shield <laughs> This is the biggest copium I've ever heard, man. No way. Don't know why people decided that. Yeah. And I know a lot of people back then were because he's saying, the engineer. Oh, you're Malton. You must build the shield so we can all have a stronger shield. Those people, <laughs> shut up. I think that's it for. Who are those later. people, man? Where are they now? How could I forget this one? You can apparently on transit. If you get the round 50, a big zombie, a giant zombie, will spawn in. And Yo, Blood of the Dead Brutus boss fight? Bigger Brutus? Then you can no figure way. out a way to get your bus to... Or not get your bus, but you can apparently run to Nuketown Zombies. <laughs> I'm <Okay>. transit. <laughs> Nuketown, Nuketown Zombies, it in fact has its own deep dive. The yeah, Nuketown's got a bunch now, of many people ones. saw when you actually end the game that the bunker is open. Leaving people to think there's an easter egg to get the bunker open and go in there. People even thought you can open the main bus in the middle. It's cool because there was a Nuketown mod added to BO2 that allowed that. But I don't think they ever even did anything with that. Even on Alpha Omega. They added the bunker on Alpha Omega. You don't even open it at all in the easter egg. It's all focused on the MPD or the APD in that map. Just what a wasted and opportunity. And it will drive you to transit. That is I so true. Why. What that a wasted opportunity. And like what I said earlier, with that rise, rise, baby. There's a, been a lot of fake DLCs mentioned. My ears are like, open. Yeah, this is when fake DLCs were huge like at this point. That was true. Yeah. On a map called High Rise, I think. Yeah, this was a fake version of the real version of the DLC because there was a new weapon being the Peacekeeper that was added in. This was the first ever DLC weapon. And then four maps as well as a, a high-rise zombies map, you know. And it was, it was about Die Rise. Now, yeah. Die Rise also has one of the biggest slaps in the face to the zombies community. With the for PhD real. flopper. Yeah. That we see. Too pro for you games. You know so bad. Is. It's literally perk made for flop. And I wonder if we're going to add that. I wonder. Like the map that you need to flop the most. I wonder. This perk. Some people thought if you get the Hell's Retriever a uh, grenade, that you could somehow time it perfectly. Somehow, first of all, get it on die rest and then <laughs> time it perfectly and throw it to get the perk itself. That is just the biggest amount of copium I've ever heard in my whole life, man. Very, very, <laughs> very interesting on how people make For it. For real, bro. Another person said, I don't get what he means by this, but maybe you ultra die rise fans. We'll get it, but if you shoot the slicker fire at a sign, it increases it and makes it better. So this is actually a glitch, but it somehow works and it does make the slicker fire revert to pre-patch. And so my thing is, I think that Treyarch devs sometimes leave these things in purposefully and they left that in as a way to do the slicker fire uh, pre-patch. But then the real question is, why did they even patch it in the first place? And so... 
Keep this in mind, you know? Maybe maybe it could be useful later on, you know? I don't know. <laughs> you said this is a very recent one? Keep that in mind, you know? I don't know if this is true or not. Keep it going. We are going on a buried with one of them. And like I said, this was time. This is the craziest one this man has I'm excited about. for mob, huh? Freddy Krueger boss fight on Barry. I <laughs> Bro, this is like you can tell where they they get the idea from like Call of the Dead with the Freddy Krueger character playing in that map, and they're like he's coming back into buried, right? Like, just... don't, uh, don't fucking. That's just so Where's funny, the man. connection? How is Freddy Krueger connected to this map? It's How simply because it it's on I Call of the Dead. It's that's it. That's we're all we're the connection you needed. Mob of the Dead. Mob of the Dead. <laughs> in the face. By having PhD and Mule Kick outside of the map on a pier, Mule Kick would have been. It really wasn't that bad on Mob. It was worse on a map like Die Rise, though. Amazing for, for this map since the variety of cool guns. Some people, since the Hell Retriever is actually on this map, think you can throw it out the map, grab them. Copium! Copium! Mini boss on the map, Brutus, who is the warden, is in fact Stanley Ferguson, the night guard at the beginning of the cutscene. That's Which we thought initially, but then afterwards with more storyline and then also Blood of the Dead confirming that not to be the case, we were we were pretty solid on that. Two, two completely different characters, and another person even said that it's fucking the Shadow Man, which is... <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. Yeah, dude, do you see what I mean? They grab an idea from one map and then stuff it into the older maps to like make it so that the older map idea in their brain was better than it actually was, bro. So you get the afterlife <laughs> for a glitch and being afterlife. So funny. Match. Don't know if that's true. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go on to Speaking of afterlife, I'll never forget when Revelations Easter egg was trying to get solved and people were sending me fake screenshots of a red afterlife on Revelations. That would have been amazing. Oh my goodness, that would have been so man. cool. Which is Origins. Origins has a similar one to the Marlton thing I mentioned earlier in which Premise Rick Toffin builds a shield, it'll last longer. <laughs> Why? There's two of That's how it works, man. Origins that I don't see a lot of people talking. It would have been cool because in different non trailer games like World War II, they added different characters and stuff and different classes that you could choose. I really wish that, you know what? That's a cool thing they could do with operators is like, instead of having it being something broken, like where you get a weapon with something like a double pap ability, make it so like a character can be like, okay, I can fix windows like 5% faster where it's not noticeable, but it's just something cool. And if you could earn it as well, rather than pay for it, that would be amazing. That is the fifth staff. <laughs> the like, earth I staff mentioned about, but I couldn't find much about the earth staff man and the fourth big robot and that is the loki robot you can actually see it when he you're is right. dead here. yeah uh, the second generator it's like crushed over there so again a just a missed opportunity for bo3 not to do anything with this man well, just again get into it which wild. is interesting now we're on to bo3 BO3, in fact, has some, it doesn't have s much, but some we can work with. First one is the Apothecan upgrade on Shadows of Evil. If you don't know, the Apothecan servant was hurts my soul. Have a pack hurts my soul. Shadows, which you have used as like a little radar. Same thing with the transit jet gun, which sucks, but. To sniff out cocoons. Too bad. Like said, and yeah, these are some actual in game images, even though it's like 244. P or whatnot. These were actual cocoons. The idea that I think was, you know, the regular pods that are just situated around the map, it was just going to be kind of a hanging version of one of those. And you'd probably just shoot one shot of the Mars Stagua at it, kind of similar to like how in Revelations, you just shoot these orbs in the sky and those orbs get teleported into the pack punch, which then pack punches the gun, which Blundell. I wish you would have added this back on Shadows, man. I just, and it's added, such a and sad an thing. glitch that you could quickly pack punch it, but I guess they took it out. Another yeah. thing I would like to mention, and this isn't for Shadows of Evil, but this is for just all of BO3. There's like a secret cult following for the KN44 weapon, and it appears everywhere in this game. 
Yeah, it's something that is still unexplained. I saw a couple comments on my uh, iceberg video talking about this. This video, this gun was originally called the Arc 7. And I just believe it was like some sort of way for Treyarch to show imagery through this weapon. They know that the AK-47 is one of the most iconic weapons, even in our real world, of all time. And so that's why I think it's been put in. There's a lot of references with it throughout all of Zombies. Like the so many. one I find is it appears in a Gorod outro. Yeah. Splits like this shit. And in DE, when Dempsey falls in, there's a random KN44 that just goes flying by. Makes you wonder, is it part of the impossible Easter egg that Blundell's talking about? We do not know. It is insane. We do not know. Why is this gun in this game? Yeah, like, in this image so as well. I do not know. Yeah, we the truly for shadows, I would like to mention, got no clue. Is that it has an impossible Easter egg said by the man himself, Jason Blundell, and Mr. Blundell. We'll find it. So yeah, yeah, we will truly never find Going it. Going on to the giant, I know it's the same as Darius, and probably has, and actually does have some of the same hoaxes, like you can blow up the moon on the giant, but it has some new ones, like the mob of the dead plane is up there, and people think it's connected. You can get to it. It's just a cool little Easter egg. It's not to put much fire into it and others are talking about the cut ending cutscene which was supposed to be in this game for oh man cutscenes in general for bo4 right giant and what i've seen premise crew getting into the origins robot that they are in at the beginning of their eyes and tracks i mean intro now and there's also robots like origins robots in gk right and so it's cool because it's like you fly over them with the dragons, but it's like it would have been sick if like for part of the boss fight, maybe you use you have a laser step where you're in the you're literally in the head of the robot like an origins and you control the laser where it shoots and you have to shoot the dragon or what. Oh, man, the possibilities were endless, man. That's what makes these hoax funny, but also hurt at the same time. Now we are skipping to rising track because that doesn't have one and we're also skipping gorod yeah it's surprisingly de doesn't have too many gk also doesn't have too too many outside of the boss fight arena we all knew that that had some sort of big relevance but it's interesting as well and zetsubo there's a really bad hoax in this one that i know uh the gaming revolution talked about that's all i'm gonna say if you know you know <laughs> Zetsbo has one small little thing. That oh, is he gonna say it? Gonna add in, even though it's a little Easter egg. Get the round fifty, and you can. Okay, that's not the one I was thinking of. That's not the one I was. The outskirts of the map. If you know, you know. Distance walking. I think this was supposed to be like an original concept of the Apothecans. Sometimes I think that because. I mean, you see them full force in Revelations, right? With the one flying around the map. But this doesn't look anything to do with anything else other than an Apothecan, right? And so you, it's also interesting because in Shadows, you see the big octopus in the sky, right? But the, the problem with that is that it does not look like the Apothecans that we see at the end of BO3 and then throughout BO4 as well. And people have actually went into feeder mode and went over to it. And it's like a giant squid kafu yeah. beast. It was yeah. Pretty Maybe it's a its own unique beast, here. you know? Um, yeah, that's a good point. Right before we get off and finish this for once and for all. We got one last thing to say for BO3. That was on Revelations. Revelations was, in fact, supposed to be a great war map. True. Yes. And uh, it sucks because this is literally confirmed literally by someone like me who talked to Blundell during Zombie Chronicles. And this man had such big plans to, like, create... Like, BO4 was too ambitious for its game. And same thing with BO2. Like, Zelensky was too ambitious with that game. Blundell was too ambitious with BO4. It's interesting how the even Black Ops games have this, like, problem of being too ambitious, right? And so... I think it's very interesting that Blundell thought that he could get away with a whole season of chaos zombies when we were all on the edge figuring out what happened with Revelations. And then he thought that he could get away with a whole season pass delaying the inevitable end of BO3 and then finally releasing the Great War map, which never happened because Alpha Omega and Togger Toten were not supposed to be zombie maps, in my opinion, that ever were supposed to release, which goes to so i mean i know a lot of people get upset when i say this but is black ops 4 kind of a filler game for that 
in its own ways, yes. I think it's kind of like the Game of Thrones endings, right? Where George R. R. Martin has said that like there's similar story beats as to how the ending was supposed to be. But in actuality, that's really not the ending that we deserve to get after all these years, which is just unfortunate. But that got scrapped. Yeah. Ultimately, the BMB04, but <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that later. Um, there was gonna be an alt, there's apparently like an alternate Easter egg on the map. I'm not sure if this was in fact true, but I've. Rev really needed more, man. It sucks because there was like such build up with GK. That's why it's wild to say that Garad Krovi is one of the last original ether zombie maps of all time bo4 did not release an ether zombies map dark ether in my opinion in cold war doesn't count and so garad crovey technically when you look at black ops 3 is the climax which is really sad because that's that's not what we were being advertised when we were playing it you know Same game so about it's crazy how that is rocket apparently the rocket from Sentra is going to make your reappearance i've seen oh maybe from moon as well that yeah that's true blue sun in the sky and blow up and that's the other thing. What happened to that blue sun? Like, we just got rid of revelations. I, I guess it gets swallowed up at the end, right? But it's just like, you know, I, I remember the sentiment from the community at the end. A lot of people were mixed. It was very similar to BO2, where, like, the end is very mixed. And I will say, a mixed ending is definitely better than, an un or than a forgettable one. Because I look at games like Cold War, for example. Cold War launched it incredible, had a great starting map. But I feel like the ending for Cold War was just kind of forgettable, you know? I thought they were going to reveal Richtofen in that game for, like, DLC 1 and not wait a whole game to get to that point. And so, makes you wonder, man. But Definitely you know, makes you wonder. The last thing I'll add on to a revelation... Does he have any BO4 chickens? ones? I don't think so. Oh, the People chicken side Easter egg. I mean, chicken coop has spawned. This was apparently a cut Easter egg. Apparently, it's in the files where... You potentially could have turned into a chicken, kind of like in Dead Ops Arcade, if you've ever played that, or kind of like in Zetsubo no Shima, where you turn into the spider. So, pretty interesting one there as well. I definitely think Revelations got really cut for time, because think about it. Right after Revelations, they had to make all the Zombie Chronicles maps, plus four BO4 zombie maps. Like, I could not imagine the crunch that these developers were put through for all of that that was eight maps with chronicles four maps with bo4 so that's 12 maps plus the 13th map being revelations and so you know when you see that they had to make 13 zombie maps and then plus iw was being made at the same time and we got spaceland like i always say that was one of the wildest times to be a zombies player in the span of three months we got garad crovey revelations and spaceland absolutely mind-boggling and so it goes to show they put on too much on their plate and the consequences were immense because of that don't have any implication on what the chickens would do but yeah that's it for revelations uh yeah. black ops 4 surprisingly they have much because we mentioned some of it already i think most of black ops 4 people just thought was a hoax in and of itself <laughs> guess what that gray war map I was talking about, <laughs> that was supposed to end yep. the E for Yeah, the Alpha Omega cutscene that you're seeing here, I always say, like, when you load into Alpha Omega, it literally does not make sense to get that cutscene. And that was Treyarch just being like, we're not going to make a cutscene for Alpha Omega. We're going to shoehorn, shoehorn in our original idea for what was supposed to be a part of the map and... It's unfortunate. Listen, I love Togger Toten. I love Call of the Dead. I despise Nuketown. And I will always say to this day that it is just extremely sad. Also, that Alpha Omega, a lot of people don't know this, is one of the most popular Call of Duty zombie maps for BO4 to date. It was the one where Noah J got the most viewership for streaming the Easter egg hunt. Not even the end, Togger Toten did as well as Alpha Omega. And so it goes to show that Call of Duty Zombies is very much fueled and propelled by nostalgia, even to this day, which is why I think they have things like Inshino Numa Reborn with Vanguard, right? 
and then also just bringing back World at War maps nonstop, even in Cold War with D-Machine and Forsaken. And it's just a mess, man. And so will Call of Duty Zombies ever evolve past this, past this point? For Storyline? Yeah, I don't no, know, man. Tag instead. Yeah. 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 And then it makes me wonder, because we're going to Vey Victus coming out this month, which is Black Ops 3 Outbreak, with all sorts of these iconic zombie maps. And so I'm curious to see if people really enjoy that and see if they actually gravitate to having something like that, rather than the end of the Ether storyline. Just so sad to think about, man. Last thing I'm going to add is a quick Cold War one for Outbreak. Okay, that's a good choice. Uh, I love Outbreak, but I'm just saying, it's crazy. And people are saying during the Legion boss in the Outbreak first Easter egg quest, if you use Wonder Weapons, it increases the spawn of boss zombies. I think I was I think I was talking to Chopper about this, and he did say that that's confirmed. I don't know. Apparently, the way the boss fight works is it works on the weapons that you bring into it. So I'm maybe that's true. Not too sure, if that's true. I think that could be true. Funny. I think that's the only cold I would have to double check. Up. Yeah, I'd have to so double yeah, check on that. That is one. all my Call of Duty zombie hoaxes. Bro. Thank you. Noble Watch swag. This was amazing. I Thank watched you. a whole 30 minute video and made it an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, go check out my man, Noble Swag13. I'm subbing, I'm liking. This was an amazing video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again so much for coming out. And I will see y'all, ladies and gentlemen, in that next one, baby.